Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor down here at Kurt's Boat Ramp down California Street in Oregon, of course. Hey, now this is a beauty. This is a Duckworth 30 foot offshore XL 96 beam. Oh, I'm going to say roughly it's probably got about 160 to 100 gallon tank in here. Uh, anyway, it's probably a nine foot bottom on this one. Got rub rails, got three sets one, two, three, raised up front big bow rails to fish out the front got spot go lights led lights open array on the radar four leaning window three wipers independent the driver is from the other two got one beefy gateway trailer this sucker's beefy you got uh four of the runners there with dmh guys on it to make a slide right off you got foot jack which is good spare tire you got the delta plow anchor that's good uh, two and five sixteenths inch ball with the flat flip. I like those now the trailer battery when I tested the last time is getting low It's all right. It says charged. So they need to charge this up. This should Be hooked up to this when you're running it should charge that But uh, you may want to look at that heavy-duty uh, There's your brake fluid right there sliding windows side lights where they belong we got the Garmin or the Raymarine GPS antenna. These must be the big, uh, yeah, wow. Six, eight lug discs on all, all six. Nitrous filled, that's a green cap, so you can put regular air in there if you like. <clears throat> anyway, those must be 16 inch tires too, I imagine. 80 pounds cold. Let's see if I can see that anywhere. That's 230 at 16 inch. <clears throat> Side entry door, which is, you'll use that a lot. You got deck lights, grab handles, big ass speakers, big old remain, uh, Ray Marine 12 inch in back, <coughs> DEC controls for the main. You got the 703 for the control box. You always have to have the safety lanyard in to start that up and hit the source selector. <coughs> back VHF. And he's got the autopilot in the back. So that's that back gauge. I'll show you when I get in the boat. You got a T25. You got an autopilot the reactor 40 we're gonna see how that pushes this boat if I remember the last one did but I don't know about the reactor 40 you got your automatic zip weights that's the way to go between that and I think these got auto trim as well you can be in the back and it auto levels your boat with the zip weights and then it trims your motor too I'll get all that preset you got zincs welded on you got the one kilowatt you got the Raymarine element you got that transducers for your downriggers, your cannons for depth. Uh, 4.2, the big gear case. You got 15 by 15. This cups to the right. This cups to the left. And I got my own special drain plug. I don't like them plastic ones. I just took the big, the T-handle, the slider. Took it out so I could drive that in. If not, it would hit that transducer. You got trim tabs there. You got a heavy duty re reverse chine here. There's a 20 degree in the rear. I imagine you're looking at about 45, 50 degrees on up. Load guides, run on the rub rail. You got good seven footers, maybe eights, triple axle. That's your diesel vents. So you got a stove top, plus you got a regular heater. So you got two heaters in there. And then the one up above that is just a vent. Your gas fills on the other side. So then what I'm gonna do is try to get into this thing. It doesn't have a ladder, but I'm sure he's gonna dock more of this baby. These lights here, that's because this has got autopilot on the Yamaha, which I gotta calibrate. But this also has your gear in and out. Like if you're spot locking, that tells you that you're on spot lock or you're using the autopilot. Because what it'll do is steer those motors and get shift them in and out of gear. So you want to be careful if you see that don't be jumping in the water which i don't think this guy will so i'm going to put this down you're going to see the sky for a second hello jump up in here that's how you can get to your bilge pumps you can make sure those are just hand tight don't tighten those real tight rear entry door on the back Oh, these are super duty. I'll tell you, these extend out. You can set the depth automatically so they stay at a certain depth. 
come on in grab a handle here you got a, a double flight table you got a flight table here tackle up in here Good. oh god watch that though when you get up Ooh, that's a head getter you just open that valve up wow they give me a headache these are afrs breakers circuits click in and out there's your macerator pump for your toilet Primer bulbs. Imagine I gotta prime them up. Yeah, zip wakes. Batteries. That's for your live well and your wash down pump. That might be your fish box pump right there. So I gotta pump these up. Don't let me forget. Okay, oh, that one's hard. That's hard. So we must have put the kicker on. This came with the motors from the factory. EV can, house battery. Move this over here. Nice bracket job you did here for your downrigger. Worst down hose. I'll hook that up when I'm out here. This shuts the water off. I'll screw that, but I'll set all this stuff up when I'm down there. Macerator pumps. That's worst down. Mass rate of pump for the other one and live well switch. Mm -hmm. Big speakers. These go down into a seat. And they even put a non skid on there so you can stand on those. And then this here is waterproof. This was a, like a charger. You go like that, I imagine. And then this pops up. I forgot how this thing works. Huh. Oh yeah, there they are. Your USB ports are up underneath there. Ah, pretty cool. Start and stop lanyard for your DECs. This is a little rigging area. See glazed door. You got your big ray here. Look at that ram out. Wow. Bathroom. And then here's your how to dump out. Right here. That's your lockout right here. So that goes into your holding tank. And if you move this here, that should pump it out. And that right there, you can imagine here you go. That one there in this position here, you should go into your holding tank this here you suck out this here you pump out then you got your flush and your pump out and then here's your heater here usb ports refrigerator here well that's a big out wow this is like a, a mini freezer wow this is like ship to shore or not ship to shore but uh, 110 huh Yeah, that's your button to turn on. Imagine. That's a light. So now I gotta see where that, when I'm out there, see where that uh, switch is, unless this is 110 only. Because it doesn't have an inverter. And I don't see a off on switch. So you gotta probably hook it up and hit the refrigerator button right here to kick that on. And you got drawers here. That make 110 sockets, cup holders. There's your brackets for your the other units. Your Ray Marine that's up front. Okay. There's your diesel to use kerosene. That's your uh, pump out for your toilet. There's another. That must be a bilge pump up underneath that. This here sucks water from where you're at into the toilet. So you make sure that's up. You got lights. Then pop this baby up. Got a, oh, a hell of a lot of storage there. 
storage in there, lights. Boy. Oh, how cool is that? I didn't even know they did that. That's a bed down in there. Ah, how neat that is. You could prop that baby up so you, you know, you don't get claustrophobic. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Build pump up there. Yeah. That's a little mirror so you can look through when you're laying down. Double seats. Sliders. Stereo, glove box, carbon monoxide sensor, rigging area, VHF, DC, zipways, helm master, autopilot with the joystick, auto fill that's there if you get water in there that alarm comes off, your autopilot, Yamaha, gotta set that emergency start, this is how you turn on your house batteries, your port, your starboard, winch battery to run your winch, Lights, speakers, voltmeters, heater, knobs for your lights. God, this is roomy. Wow. And I'll check all the lights and everything. Wow. And then your bed, you can just get up into here and lay down in there. Put it down in there. Let's see. Oh, more storage. 